नमस्ते एवरीवन लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद द मर्क्यूरी सीरीज वन पॉइंट मर्क्यूरी एज वी हैव सीन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो रिमेंस आइदर इन द प्रीवियस हाउस और द सेम हाउस और द नेक्स्ट हाउस फ्रॉम सन सो इट बिकम्स फ्रीक्वेंटली कंबस्ट एंड फ्रीक्वेंटली रेट्रोग्रेड हाफ ऑफ द ईयर एंड मोर देन हाफ ऑफ द ईयर इट रिमेंस कंबस्ट एंड रेट्रोग्रेड अबाउट कंबशन आई हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक that combustion is the thing where the rays of the planets are not reaching earth right now see let me tell you one particular point this combustion and retrogression are astronomical phenomena things which are happening astronomically so what happens is astronomical phenomena overpower every phenomena every other phenomena right this you have to understand so it overpowers all the other factors astronomical phenomena that means if a planet is retrograde and combust it is retrograde and combust for all the divisional charts and all the other rules are overpowered or surpassed by this particular thing right so you say a planet is exalted and combust the result of combustion comes and the result of exaltation is lost because combustion is an astronomical phenomenon i will not say that exaltation is not an astronomical astronomical phenomenon certainly it also is but not as retrogression in combustion now the result of the retrograde planet is not reaching earth right along with this my technique that i teach to my students is retrogression gives you humiliation uh, sorry combustion gives you humiliation and the results of the combust planet is not reaching earth so mercury which remains frequently combust and retrograde see it have uses in all the streams of astrology right all the rules that i am telling you can be applied in the natal chart prashna chart muhurta chart wherever you want also in the transit for the fact of mundane astrology remember that combustion indicates humiliation point 1 and the result of combust planet is not reaching the earth which means it is not reaching you mercury is combust mercury is the fifth lord the person may have got very good education but he is not able to find a job which is providing him an income which is rewarding or even respecting for the level of education he have gained humiliation factor seven suppose so mercury is the seventh lord that is combust it gives humiliation from spouse right so you are not able to love take care of or do things which you should do as a spouse which in turn humiliates you that is the first point second point is because the results of the planet is not reaching earth so say the mercury is the seventh lord that is combust so the result of marriage is not reaching you so you are married but the result of marriage that is getting a companion getting someone to talk getting someone to share your thoughts feelings and ideas that you cannot do despite being marriage you cannot enjoy the marriage because the result of the planet is not reaching earth right the same thing happens with the signification of mercury as well right so when mercury is combust businessmen are humiliated right doing a business gives you humiliation maybe you are not getting a, a reward as you expected communication gives you humiliation right so maybe you are being misunderstood or not communicating properly and specifically in this world of social media where we write a lot of things especially written social media that is influenced by mercury in the case of mercury retrograde generally sorry mercury combust generally if you have done some mistakes previous mistakes on social media someone may take a screenshot of it and can blackmail you resurface it causing you humiliation right specifically in transit when mercury is combust one should avoid communicating as much as possible avoid starting a business or taking major business based uh, decisions uh, major financial decisions and should also 
not pursue uh, like not get admitted in a new university should not take uh, major educational decisions and should not make major educational choices right when it happens in transit when it is in the natal chart say someone have a combust mercury in the natal chart now this mercury indicates uh, intelligence right so he have a combust intelligence right so he's always think he's always you know underestimating him always thinking that of himself only he's always thinking negatively of himself he don't consider himself capable of anything first of all he should come out of these things second now mercury indicates business he will get humiliated in business uh, mercury indicates education he will get humiliated in education Mercury indicate communication. He will get humiliated in communication. So what should he do? He should, he should not do opinion. He should not communicate with people. He should not pursue an education. Of course not. He should have a person with a good mercury in his life. Identify one such person and take advice and counsel with such a person who have a good mercury before taking major decisions related to these areas. Right? Another thing is mercury getting retrograde now retrogression remember three things about retrogression retrogression is mistakes of your life in a prashna like say government have taken a decision you make a horoscope for that moment if the planet who signifies the decision through his natural significatorship if that planet is retrograde the decision will be taken back same happens with planet in the natal chart you say uh, your mercury is retrograde mercury indicates education so you may choose CA as an education, do it for one, two year. Then you decide that this is not profitable. I'm losing interest. I don't want to do it. And you take a step back, waste all the years that you have invested in CA and do another thing. Mercury is retrograde. You have done, suppose you are a lawyer. At the end of your degree, you realize that you don't want to practice as a lawyer. You never wanted to do it. And you don't use your educational qualification. This is what happens. Retrogression indicate a mistake. What you have to do? Get a good astrological advice or counsel someone who have a good mercury in their horoscope, which is almost free of afflictions, right? Mercury getting free of afflictions is very important. If mercury is afflicted, even for astrologer, the intelligence, thought and thinking process of that astrologer, the projection is not good. Right, so you know, taking a prediction from one such astrologer may not be a good option, right? That's why in astrological classics, Mercury is considered very important for an astrologer. But remember that combust, uh, say, debilitated Mercury is not a bad thing to have, right? It, it is, Merc see, I am talking about affliction. Mercury is debilitated. He is with Venus, not afflicted, right? Mercury debilitated, but Vargottam, not afflicted. Mercury debilitated, but in friendly sign and friendly Navamsha is not afflicted, right? We are talking of major malefics afflicting Mercury. And in this case, Sun doesn't count as a malefic because Sun almost always remains with Mercury, right? So even astrologers having this combination should, like, you should avoid consulting such astrologers and such astrologers should avoid putting their projections, thinking, thought, and what they think into their prediction and should completely rely on astrological techniques without giving their own input while making a prediction. So first of all, retrograde indicate mistakes of your life. Another thing is, because the retrograde planet is Cheshta Bali, Cheshta is desire. So you are having a strong desire or say leading to satisfaction. Cheshta is leading to satisfaction. See, if, if we say one thing, you know, like kaka cheshta. Cheshta like a crow. Now, now, you know, crow keeps on looking at different things. Crow is not stable. Crow eats everything. So a cheshta like a crow means the person is omnivorous, want to eat everything, want to enjoy everything in life cannot remain satisfied or focused with a single thing and always want and don't trust anyone, right? Because crows also don't trust anyone. So the planet who is retrograde or the planet who is Cheshta Bali is very prominent in your personality. 
see people think that it is only the planet which is influencing the ascendant that is uh, prominent that's that's not reality all the nine planets influence you as the planets are powerful see the body is made up of five elements right everyone have the five elements it is like sound humans can listen sound between 20 decibel to 20000 decibel right same like the tattvas person should have 20 to 200 of the tattva humans can have 20 to 200 of tattva if the tattva is less than 20 or more than 200 it is not a human now between that 20 to 200 it will be in varying capacity more the capacity of a particular tattva more it influences the nature personality behavior character body and the traits of the person that it works this particular way understand it with the example of sound sound less than 20 hertz more than 20000 hertz you cannot listen sound in the range of 20 20 hertz to 20000 hertz you can listen planet at 30 hertz is very slow like not easily audible planet at 19000 hertz is very loud you can break your eardrums right understand this particular way planet who is stable planet is retrograde the nature of that planet is very prominent in your personality people having mercury retrograde are very studious have a fascination to intelligence read many things wants to communicate want to give good advice very interested in business very much interested in commerce are generally wants to enjoy everything in life because mercury is a prince right just as that now another thing is when a planet is retrograde you see the house he is situated in the house he is aspecting you enjoy doing those things as you have a desire cheshta to do that thing so you say mercury is in the 6th house retrograde aspecting the 12th house you enjoy spending money a lot spending or giving money is resource also you enjoy spending your money or giving your resources to others for their benefit and better one this is in the 6th house 6th house also indicates protection right you have to protect yourself from disease and enemies right it is protection you like protecting your people or protecting you uh, protecting uh, the one you like most right so the planet who is cheshta bali whichever house is situated in whichever house is aspecting whichever rashi is situated in whichever rashi is aspecting you enjoy doing those things and you are satisfied doing those things that is okay you have to make sure that you don't overdo it if you like supporting people helping them and spend your resources on them make sure that you are not doing it on someone who is ungrateful this is the only thing that you have to do right this is the second point related to retrogression third point related to retrogression is retrogression gives you things in plenty so if mercury is retrograde you are generally having education in more than one field it is generally like you have done your uh, masters in uh, english and have also done a diploma in photography to diverse field of education right so it gives you diverse field of education as mercury indicate commerce it can give you two different uh, professions generally astrologers having a retrograde mercury are astrologers and are also engaged in another business right retrograde planet gives you things in multiplicity right because mercury indicates intelligence when it is retrograde and also afflicted can also give multiple personality disorders or a person who is thinking himself to be two different personality thinking in two different ways and can also lead to mental abnormalities another thing is mercury because we are talking of abnormality mercury is an unique planet along with saturn and mercury is the son of moon with the wife of jupiter mamata 
which is almost orphan. Right. Coming to abnormalities. Mercury indicate abnormalities and mercury indicates adaptation. Two things. Mercury, if it is weak and afflicted at the same point of time, I will tell you how to check. Mercury, when it is weak and when it is afflicted at the same point of time, Check the house he is expecting, influencing by any way. It gives you abnormality, aberration related to that particular house point. If it is connected to the ascendant, it gives you abnormality and aberration related to 